This is Mr. Block and uh, this video is going to show you how to use the pen tool to accomplish this particular exercise. This uh, is an exercise that gets progressively more difficult as you go through the steps. Uh, but just understand that it is not hard to do. It may get more difficult although you will find that it's fairly easy to do these steps. So I'll go through them with you and you can, uh, you'll can you see what I'm talking about. It's fairly straightforward. For the first one, the star, you're just going to be making straight lines. And this requires you just to do a single click with your mouse, uh, with your cursor. You're going to go across just like a dot to dot. Simply connect the dots here. Now you'll notice that it's starting to cover the fill is starting to cover the words on, uh, or the, the inner area here. What I'm going to do is go over to the left and choose the None button to turn off my fill. Now I'm just working with my outline, or the stroke as it's called. So what, I, what I'm going to do here, I'll continue, go to each point, and when I come to the end, there will be a circle that appears next to my cursor. That means that I'm going to close the shape. Now if I press my space key on the keyboard, I can click and move my whole uh, stage over to see the next one. This is, like I said, it gets a little more difficult. You're going to hold the shift key on this one. So it's first you click with your mouse, then press your shift key and drag. Okay, It's a click with the mouse, then press the shift key and drag your mouse. Click, press the shift key, and drag. Once again, click, press your shift key, and drag. The, the shift key, once again, keeps it constrained to a 90 degree angle, straight line. Now the last one you can see is not going to be accurate, so I'm just going to press, I'm going to do the same exact thing. The circle appears, that means I'm going to close the shape there, but I'm going to click, hold the shift key, and drag again. And there you go. Okay, so the next, let's move down to number three. Once again, a little more difficult, but you'll see it's fairly easy to do. So we'll click and drag, and I'll hold shift to make it straight. Come to the next one, click and drag down, and click uh, holding shift. And remember, you're clicking and dragging in the direction that you want the line to go. If I clicked and dragged down here, that would not be correct. Uh, I want to move up and press shift so it goes straight. The last one is precisely the same way, just like that. All right, let's move over to number four, curves with corner points. This is going to be an interesting one. You're simply going to click and drag. Oh, you notice that it's still connected. This is an interesting thing that, uh, that I'll, I'll show you. Basically, all you need to do is it's Command-Z, and you'll see it is still connected, but hit Escape in, on your keyboard, and it disconnects from the last line. So I'll click once. I apologize. Here, let's click and drag straight down to make this new one. And then for this, I'm going to click once and release. But I want to come back to my node and I'll pull the handle out and drag it straight down. And then do the same thing here, click once and let go. I'll come back to my cursor, uh, to my node and drag my handle straight out. I'll press shift to make it straight. And the last one, click, and I can drag. I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to drag the handle out just to be uh, consistent. Now you'll know it's you notice it's still can escape that disconnects. Go back down here, we'll do number five. We're almost done. Click on the first one and drag up. And I'll come back over here. I'm gonna drag down on that one and press shift. So here's the trick on this. If you press and hold your option key on your keyboard, it turns to the uh, the uh, convert point tool. Go to your handle, and I'm going to pull the handle straight up. Now I can do the same thing on this side. I'll pull, click and drag straight down. Press Option key, 
and drag the handle up. Let's do that again here. Click, drag down, press Option, click on the handle and drag up. Okay, last one, click and drag down. Now I didn't do that straight, I can Command Z to undo and press my Shift key as I do that one. Okay, now I'll press Escape to let go. Number six, here we go. It's a click, drag up. I'll come down just like the last one, drag down. But now what I want to do, press Option and grab the handle, pull it back into the node. That gives me a straight line and I'll come across. Now I'll come back to the node, drag a handle straight down, and that gives me my curve. Let's click on this and do it the opposite direction. Press Option, pull that node straight backward into the node, into, I'm sorry, the handle straight back into the node. Gives me a straight line. Pressing Shift, I can click to make a straight line. And now I'll come back to the node, click on it, and drag a handle out. And I'm going to, I'm going to pull it straight up. The last one is a click and drag straight down. And let's press escape to let go of that, that last line. And we'll do the final one. This is the most difficult of all. And I'll zoom out just a touch. And I zoomed out, by the way, by pressing option and rolling the mouse wheel. So we'll start on number one. This is a tricky one here. We're going to click and drag to number two. Number three will come here and drag to, uh, to number four and then release. Number five says that you come back to this anchor point, click on it, and drag the, the handle out again. We're going to go to number six and let go. And then come to number seven, drag to number eight. Let's press Option and drag that back to the, the uh, node. And we're ready to come over here. We're going to actually click it, drag it down to 10, drag the handle out to 10. Come to 11, drag it up to 12, and release. Then we're going to grab, we're going to come back here to number 13, press on, click on the node and drag it up to 14. Come down here and click on 15. Pressing the Option key, we're going to drag to 16. And we're done. If we then want to fill it, you can click on the Swap, Fill, and Stroke. And you can see it completely done. And that's that. Please ask me if you need any assistance at all.